Right, today I'm in Brookfield Cemetery in the jewellery quarter of Birmingham City. Um, things are happening and I keep saying, um, look around your local cities and towns, get all of the pictures, the photos, anything you can of what is around because it's all rapidly being taken from us. And uh, it's getting, it's not tedious, it's quite interesting, but really it's quite sad because this, uh, a lot of this stuff that's pretty awesome around us is going and uh, just like our parents and their parents before them will completely miss every aspect of it being taken away uh, whoops and then tell our children nothing so we're gonna change that we're gonna i've basically started filming documenting having a look taking photos of everything that is of any interest in birmingham such as the brookfield cemetery i guess catacombs right so there's a lot of people to bury around here at the time these are stacked with people a lot of them like kind of sealed um a lot of this has changed new masonry there's been some restoration work ongoing i don't think it was all completed but as you can see all the new things down there a lot of these all sealed up you can't get in uh some of them you could see into back in the day but i don't think there's much going on there but this is how you bury people on mass uh very quickly very efficiently this used to be a quarry I believe um, hence why all this is dug out so nicely and ready to go uh, we'll have a quick look at the lists of the, the people this is how you do it I mean I guess there was lists of people on these doors at some point but now it's like there's some big tablets up there upstairs so we'll have a look at the tablets have a look at the names which I believe are all broken up into various sections of which room they happen to be buried in but uh yeah we'll have a look at that and then there's major changes going on in this area which i am hopefully going to catch wind of in uh today because i uh, only spotted this change on google earth yesterday and noticed it noticed that the change had only happened very recently in 2020 and currently on Google Earth, I mean, I'm going to show you this in the, uh, the presentation I'm going to put together, obviously. But, uh, yeah, the idea being you've got this uh, Brookfield Cemetery over the road. May have been the same cemetery back in the day, but they dug it out for the, what, the train station and other various uh, commercial needs. And then on the other side of that is more cemetery, which is Key Hill Cemetery, which I think is the one that was made for the overflow when we run out of places to bury people so maybe not maybe this was all a cemetery and that middle bit which has been dug down and cleared now to this level which is catacomb level uh, over there it looks like on google earth that it's dug down to exactly the same level as here which would kind of tell you that you could be in, a, in one of these rooms that i'm about to show you over there look up and have dead people buried above you still because of where you are which is pretty interesting isn't it so there you go brookfield cemetery i'm going to get a couple of uh here's the tablets here we go <laughs> so i guess these are the names of everyone in these various they weren't buried in alphabetical order unfortunately So lots and lots and lots of people over here um i will pull the history together when i get home on the years and any dates like that i don't want to mislead you but yeah pretty awesome though isn't it right and i'm going to try and run this as one video now and get it all done so uh right so behind me now there's the uh the catacombs behind me used to be a tire place right and all this old i'll put some pictures up probably now and now uh <music> mr tire center or something and it was just all commercial use i imagine this was so when the jewelry quarter train lines put in and the bridge maybe this is all cleared for that and maybe the stuff that was cleared out the way 
there's, there's, there's some remains of what used to be there and I think it looks like there is which is exciting so we're going to go and have a look and then on the other side more graves so it looks like this all this land could have been one and probably was one massive field and then a massive grave site obviously uh, it's the best way to go oh we'll go down the bottom this should uh, give us a vague idea of where we are so I'm going to walk down to the end of the cemetery get to Pittsford Street at the bottom which splits these lands oh we've got a an un we've got a dug up grave here let's have another look splits these lands right in half cemetery wall we'll keep to the cemetery wall follow it round I believe it carries on all the way around not sure which way to go with it business is open as usual all right let's catch all this 2023 ah, good luck we've got a lot of um, works around us as well by the spaghetti junction well, well if you look at the video of the GEC you'll see uh, the bit when we walk underneath Spaghetti Junction to get to Salford Circus. You can't go there anymore and the works are ongoing there until 2022 as well. So let's have a look at this shit, this is crazy. So old brickage. Awesome. So what's all this then? So these tunnels, not sure where they go, that goes right underneath and then does a left apparently according to the, uh, the workers here. So that's all underneath, a lot of arching, I'm not sure if that's all just structural to hold things up. But it's all a bit crazy, it's a lot of room. So all of this as deep as the graves on the other side which is it's interesting so we're going to go to the other side the guy who's been working on this didn't seem to think that there was any graves here he hasn't seen any anyway which is good we did find a coin workers here that guy particularly you know I don't like the word foreign but you know foreign worker uh, he didn't have too much of an idea about what he was working on here but I did eventually get through just trying to say like oh, you're right next to a graveyard here mate you have dug down just as deep and there's another graveyard on the other side and there's these buildings as deep as catacombs so what do you reckon and I just asked have you found anything old come across anything weird and then he did have a coin from 1908 in his pocket, which was big actually, it was a big coin as well. Got a photo of it. So here you go, here's the Metro E jewelry quarter track which was put in place. And I imagine this. I see, I'm not sure if that track was originally train track now, and now it's been repurposed into Metro. Thus, I don't know. Oh, that's cool as hell. But there you go. What was all this then? Who knows? I wish I could get in and get some photos. It's all right down there. I'm not too sure. Okay, we'll go and have a look at the other side. Right, so essentially if you walk up Pittsford Street and do a left uh, you're going up a pretty big hill at this point and now you're in the jewellery quarter. On your left hand side is the 
jewelry quarter metro station just next to the bridge which is here there you go i've filmed this before so i don't really know what i'm about to do but uh, right next to the sign is this old victorian urinal which is iron i've never noticed it before but uh, there's actually quite a few of these knocking around town. Now I know what they are. But there you go. You've got all the gubbins still in there. Couldn't open this one. Little lamp. I don't know what women did for toilets in the street back in the day. Maybe they weren't working. Who knows? Uh, there you go. 1880, all the way from Scotland. Lovely. Grade 2 listed. They lock it up. Right next to the listed, well probably not listed, but the Banksy Christmas thing, if you want to go and see that. If you don't fancy like actual real history that's interesting, if you look to your right, there's some bollocks on the wall. But this is pretty, this is much better. You can't see in, but I imagine if you go on Google Earth, it's probably the only toilet you can look into from space. Onwards. Rubbish. Right, pretty good view from this side, just down the, well, what, looking at it, the left-hand side of the Jewelry Quarter Metro train station -y thing, which you can see here, just there, right, there's the station, right there, tracks and everything, bum bum bum, oh, I can't even zoom, there we go, right, so we're on the other side of that, so we're on the other side of the cemetery, and this one's got the massive hill now, which goes all the way, it's a big drop, 50 foot, more, can't get a good view of it. It's ridiculous how it's left. All this fencing's gone. Um, this building's gone. I mean, I don't know what happened here. But a lot of old work keeping it level. And then it just drops off here and then rolls down the hill all the way down there. It just stops. Right, so here's the drop that I was stood on. I was just stood up there. There, maybe. Um, in that car park next to the jewellery quarter so the jewellery quarter train station anyway the metro station that's up there it's very high up there's all this what concreted ground king kept in then the wall then the buildings and the arches are up there what is all this It's really hard to get your head around. And um, I'm not walking around trying to sound crazy anymore. I just don't understand what's around me. Um, I've done nothing. I haven't built a thing in my life for 29 years and I've kind of helped out with AV quite a bit and did school and walk around, got a dog. Um, but people got their heads around making this happen years and years ago. And that blows my mind a little bit. We're gonna look in that hole. It's exciting. We get up there, so we can't get out from here. But that's where I was, all the way up there. What did you see? Can't see a bloody thing. Oh, there's the metro station from the graves. So all these peaceful graves here. And there's just a metro <laughs> next to it. Well, watch it go because we're train spotters now, apparently. No one on it. That's town fear. One guy. <laughs> right. So yeah, there's the uh, the plateau of that section of land then, and we're we're in the hole. Oh, it's a shame you can't really see a fat lot. Not sure I'm going to get back up there. Um, I will walk around. Wonder if you can get out this side. You can imagine how beautiful this whole area was before all this happened. 
and just how great. I mean, even I imagine it weren't that pretty before it was used as a graveyard. Why would it be? Was it just pastures and land? Probably not. Probably really pretty horrible. But everywhere that looks good takes a marked amount of effort to keep it that way. I mean, I live in Brook Vale, Park, Whitton Lakes, and all that. And uh, there's there's a lot of upkeep in just keeping a patch of grass there, you know. Uh, we pay a huge service charge to get all the grass cut around our place. So yeah, our, our area looks very nice, but it's paid for by everyone. And it ain't a council thing, like the service charge, you're paying £115 a month and cutting the grass. But everyone is included. Oh, we've got a, a free doggy. Who's this? 150 years for this to happen to stone. Bear that in mind if you go and give it an old um, finger, castle or whatever. Look at the weathering of the stone and say, does that look like the weathering of 150 years only? Or does it look like the weathering of maybe a thousand years potentially? Well, they'll tell you. I've seen castles in much better nick than I've seen some relatively new yet well-made buildings from the 19th century and before. Week after new birth. Exciting year 92. quicker to just show you through it than do this with endless subtitles so this is the planning permission for the destruction of Mr Tyre on Pittsford Street which was granted in 2018 and that's what we're seeing happening right now so here's 33 Pittsford Street um, demolition of the existing buildings and erection of a residential lead mixed use redevelopment providing 395 apartments commercial workshops retail leisure 116 car park spaces these are these numbers are a little bit different to what we just read on the other file but here we go um a new entrance to the jewelry quarter train station and associated works including landscaping and a new entrance to pittsburgh street right um so here's the pictures of that idea no reference to the use I me mean, maybe this old subway building here yeah that'll be it so this thing on the right is, pro well it is, it's uh, what's left of those tunnelly supporting walls that we could see earlier on in the video. And they're gonna call that what, the old subway? Vice Street maybe? Yeah, probably. So that's the subway tunnel that we can see. Oh, and they're gonna throw an escalator going up to Pittsford Street apparently. And then a load of fake looking Gloucester workhouses. Uh, with grain and things written on them, which is nice. So that's where we're heading. Um, Apparently there's going to be a gym. Is that is that the windows to a gym in this subway bit as well, which is just what we need. So and then other bits, new entrance to the jewelry quarter station. So I'm not sure what side that is on. Oh, we'll get our bearings. It's all computer generated, isn't it? But there you go. They've got to do that as part of the deal. And the views of the apartments, I imagine from Pittsford Street, I guess. So these people are standing in the graveyard in Brookfield. The, gr the Brookfield Cemetery is where they are stood right now. So they've got rid of the red fencing again at this point, which is a shame. <coughs> so there you go, right. So we'll go back to the planning permission to see what they, uh... is there any more secret planage? It was all good because Mr. Tyre needed a bigger place anyway, so that's how we got the go-ahead here. So that's all good. Nothing weird going on. Bedrooms, blah blah blah. Apparently a few complaints from the uh, History Society, the Victorian Society, all that. Just not happy with the, the height that this thing is going to be. 
but considering how much of a hole it's in, um, I think it's only going to stand about 13 metres, was it, above our ground level, but then all in it'd be about 30 metres, or something like that. So you gotta go find this yourself. I'll put the link in the uh, the description below. But it, it is all there, and you can also see the old planning permissions that were granted for this area as well. There you go, the, the fancy, it's very trainy, but all this kind of outer wall of that work area over there is impressive. It's very beautiful. Shame about the dickhead Lapoka writing on absolutely everything. But you know, it'll all wear away with time. Beautiful that, lovely artwork. Very good, I've seen that sprayed over a few times and it managed to clean it up. It's great news, it's, it's really nice. God, where are we? Right, we're at Pittsford Street, we're back where we started. We split between the two graveyards that we're on about. But hopefully this makes sense to you now. And this road's completely closed due to the refurb. Don't know what they're building. So there's the grave on the other side of these works. The road in the middle. Which does lead me to think that this middle section was also a grave, but we can't be sure. The, ins the workers there haven't reported to me about finding any bodies or anything, so that's a shame. But I'm glad I came anyway, because this is documented and we would have missed the whole thing potentially if you just don't walk around and take some photos. So there's a bit of history locked into the internet for everyone. Tell your friends, maybe leave it 20 years and then drag this video up. Like, oh, remember what used to be there? That's uh, essentially what I'm filling my phone with these days. Photos of things that are inevitably going to be ruined, changed or taken from us. One more look at this land in between the graves and then I'll call it a day. I reckon that's been the hour. Probably got a ticket and I did pay. And that does a left apparently, that, that tunnel. That's your lot. The graves are over there. The other ones. Well, so there you go. Pitford Street, Brookfield Cemetery, and Key Hill Cemetery. Uh, more facts to come. Thanks for joining me. I'm off home. Uh, it's breakfast time, I reckon. So there is a little bit more to the story. Where are we? Where are we? Whoa. Right, we're in the building bit that we were just looking at. So here's the tunnels or whatever else that they've left behind and all the cleared area. Now, from this angle, it's very obvious that this was one bit of land that was all part of the quarry area back in the day. Uh, all linked together. So the story goes that this side, Key Hill Cemetery, what was that, 1838? And over here opened by 1848 but it is described that the land of brookfield cemetery actually met keyhill cemetery at the northeast side which would be here so it includes this bit of land so in that nine year gap when this bit's turned into a train yard in 1854 this could potentially have had a few graves in there depending if they were using that area first or last we're not too sure but who knows? Uh, I mean, and then they've thrown up the chapel at some point and got catacombs happening. So it's a busy time. But there's a little bit more uh, that are caught on the video. So if we go down to Vice Street at this end by the jewelry quarter entrance. Right, so there's our Victorian urinal. There's our entrance to the metro station. There's our derelict car park that we stood on looking down there. There's Banksy's wall. But if we go down here, I did get a little video of trying to get down to Key Hill to go around the uh, the perimeter of the cemetery. 
So I followed it down here. Uh, here's a spectacle works, which it looks like they've literally been there since day dot. I mean, there's still a guy in there working. I don't know how old he is, but he must be very good by now. Uh, if you do a little right down here, there's a small pathway slash tunnel area thing gully, which gets you onto Key Hill Drive through these houses, which is helpful. So why would you want to do that? Well, I'll tell you. So you come down here, Hilton Street, you do a left, I'll show you in the video, I'm going to be walking through here, down here, fancy house, all the parked cars, look over the wall into this cemetery space here, Key Hill, and then the whole reason for this maybe walk is there's a toilet in the wall just here, I'm going to show you, because it was pretty interesting, I didn't realise how... <clears throat> I don't know how up for it they were for people to piss in public more often. Like you've only had to go around the corner. You could do it in two fairly interesting places. Where do you have to go now to have an interesting piss? Tell me in the comments. Um, here comes the video. And we're also going to go for a little walk down Cemetery Lane just here as well. Which uh, is the perimeter of the original cemetery, right? So let's get our bearings again. Up, up, up. Right up, right up. So we've got this whole area. We're going to start here. I'm going to walk down this street, through the tunnel, onto Key Hill, and then walk down here, have a look at the toilet, walk down Cemetery Lane, have a look at all this smashed up stuff, and then walk back. And I think that's all I've got. So uh, enjoy. Right. Kind of deep in the jewellery quarter and now. What road am I on? Nope, didn't have road signs in these days either, so who knows, I can't remember. Kids with H, but somewhere behind Key Hill Drive, right? Because this takes us to Key Hill Drive, apparently. We're going to go through it. It's exciting. Wee -ay -ay. Straight, straight away. It's much better than it needs to be. But you know. Here's a cemetery wall that runs up Key Hill Drive where we just came from. Mm -hmm. Not sure what that is. Ah, so this should get us to our bit of wall that also has a little entrance door. Yeah, so this being a quarry turned into a cemetery is looking like the main thing. I mean, look at the height difference here from the street level up there to the grave level down here, right? It's mental.
So, we've got a door here to something. We'll have a look, we'll go in. On earth. Yeah, I saw this on Google Earth. Hmm. So we'll find where that door goes in a moment. Right, so this is what's behind that door. Toilet? Yes. Urinal. So that's pretty sweet. <laughs> wow. So urinals are the call of the day today, apparently. So here's the uh, yeah the done up thing. There you go. So how much weathering happened here? They didn't do the top. Bizarre. Must have been a safety issue. But there you go. Oh, nice makeshift grave. I wonder who died here. Wow. Fair play. Right. So that's that. That's a toilet. How exciting. <laughs> toilet underground. You're pissing deeper than half the bodies. Imagine you're, you're actually like, you could be looking a dead guy in the face from there whilst having a piss, essentially. That's terrifying. <laughs> Just a quick explanation of where we're walking at the moment which is cemetery lane here um right so key hill drive where we came from through the tunnel down the hill did a left here's the corner with the little door and the urinal just there and then literally immediately straight where that door is this is cemetery lane so it follows the perimeter wall of the key hill cemetery and always has done the looks of it and here's the buildings that we can kind of see uh what well, the remains of in all the bushes and all the crap that's been dumped at the back there so we've got wellington place here that looks like that's the drop-off point where the jet garage is now on the roundabout which is now here so here's right on the corner there is well there was a pub called the called the bull's head there which must have been for the workers at the hockley station and all these other places around here looks like we've got malt houses and all kinds of things going on around here so it looks like even gardens and stuff so i'm not sure if this is housing here or if it's or what's going on uh but there's obviously nothing left can't quite tell cemetery tavern or oh, another house there maybe another pub so definitely worth looking more around what's on the ground in these areas because quite interesting by the looks of it so there's a little update um uh, on with the video So I'm not entirely sure what this building might be. Um, where am I? So there's the main road, Island Delight. So coming up to the bridge over there. The jewelry quarter. Then there's this building. I've just seen from behind, there's all this bit of brickage on the floor here. It carries on all the way. Oh, 
what was it? We will find out. Not too sure. Again, more, just more history. Who knows what it is? But we'll find out. I've already missed the boat on this one. Right, now we'll walk around the front and we'll get back to the van. That'll do. So there you go, there's a, a little update on what's going on in your local area and I suggest you get out here and have a look, have a talk to the workmen, they don't seem too bad. Ask them some questions, badger them, they're destroying what we don't even know. So uh, they'll start destroying stuff that you do know eventually. And that's probably the stuff that's uh, good because the stuff that you do know is probably rubbish. <laughs> there we go. So I'm just going to keep this rolling, probably throw some voiceover on it, why not? Right, seamless transition to voiceover I think, that was pretty good, happy with that one. Right, I'm just going to look at this with you because I don't know what I'm about to say, but look around at the levels of this place. Um, what we're told, yeah, it's a quarry area and then the cemetery, which is fine. Um, but when, how, we just get told about the quarry bit and I haven't seen too much about when all of this... Um, brickwork is thrown up and who did it and just how long did it take can you imagine approaching the city from this side and that's what you're presented with like this is the fortress of birmingham that you just get to and that's the defenses who knows i can't find anything this far back but it's crazy and i can't get my head around it um <clears throat> even look at this with its lack of bricks but it's filled with something holding that building up there is this just bedrock that we can't use is this where the quarry ended its use it's too hard to use and that's just happens to be the shape of town and we'll just build on that so you can't use any more i don't know but then to use it as a cemetery afterwards makes complete sense why wouldn't you but you can see under there that big layer of concretey stuff under there is that just packing it out was it subsiding i don't know <clears throat> hopefully anyone out there does know a little bit more about this please let me know i'm just kind of amazed by the whole thing I mean, look at it you see your roman bridges that were built in 100 a.d they kind of look quite similar to this <clears throat> if you check back my video on heligio land um a lot of the upper lands there were held up or buttressed by walls like this with the stairways that went to the top very very similar and that was about the same age of the fort um so yeah you've got those arches i guess it's a cheaper way of supporting the load uh, rather than filling it all with bricks or was it a bridge i doubt it was a bridge but it might have been and you see all these other kind of flawed areas these angles poking out halfway up the hill as well <clears throat> that's something to bear in mind but there we go we're back to the bottom of the hill where we were at the top on the vice street derelict car park just so many changes in land how old are these trees compared to the trees at the top you've got trees growing out of the floor at the top there as well under that building how old was that as you can see just here um what kind of what's that the floor of don't know if we'll ever know did these bricks turn into stone did they get filled with concrete to hold them in they're all falling apart as well Get your head around that, someone explain it. Until then, that's the end of this explanation. I don't know where this video is heading, but thanks for putting up with this so far. So what changed uh, over the last, what, couple of hundred years? These places tend to exist. I mean, there's one by me, Witten Cemetery, bloody massive. And you're talking the middle of the 19th century for that. Eight, late, late 19th century, just like this, where apparently big cemeteries are uh, a huge thing on the agenda of uh, what this city needed at the time so these pop up everywhere all at the same time um so what was killing all the people where were all the kids coming from there's so many orphanages being built at the same time the workhouses and everything else and we know cholera was happening uh, where was everyone were well, lots of people dying but then way too many people living as well at the same time uh it's bizarre because it doesn't feel like we're in any immediate panic when it comes to grave space at the moment 
which I don't understand why. Obviously, people are dying every day, especially nowadays with the, the current situation. So I've just spotted something in the wall over here, so we're going to go and have a look at it. I'm never going to get to where I want to go. Sorry, Graves. I imagine they're well rested by now. What are these? 18. What's this? Oh, 1945. So World War II section. What's that? Little thing in the wall. Fireplace, who knows? We're going to have a look. We're going to have a look. <sighs> Very interesting. Birmingham City Centre. What's this? What? An old fireplace? For part of this wall? What on earth? No, I'm repeating myself. But hopefully I'll cut to one which makes some form of sense. This guy. Gnarly. The gnarly. Right. Right, so that's essentially the end of the tour of the uh the major cemetery complex that may have been on this end of town. Um, so we're going to tackle the whole reason as to why all these graves may have been suddenly required at this point in time and uh, there's obviously a really big dig going on at the moment because of the HS2 line in the Curzon Street area and they've recently dug up a massive overspill grave site that was open there after these graves I think or the, around the same time. So we're going to have a look at what happened with the whole industrial revolution of the time, why people were coming here, why the population flew up so much, why there were so many orphanages, where all the kids went, where were the people, where were the jobs, where were the money, why were the houses built, why were they so big if no one could live in them but there were too many people so they lived in other houses in the slums and what happened to them. So there's loads to go through um, and this is going to be Birmingham based but it basically applies to the entire country when you start looking at the history of it all so um that's the end of this thanks for listening hope it was helpful if you do have any um information and can enlighten me on any of the subjects we've tackled please do get in the comments and just say your piece and uh we'll put this story together because i ain't got a bloody clue and i don't think any of us do so thanks very much squatters wrongs out